Yo, what's poppin' Playboys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, man, we're gonna be talking about how much I spent on Dusty. Uh, I done a video like this a year ago, uh, around like, I think July or something like that, July, June. So, it's, it's been over a year since I did an update video. And uh, from that last video, if you guys wanna go check it out, I'll put the link right here. From that last video, a lot has changed on this car. Uh, different wheels, different front lip. Well, actually, no, I think it's the same front lip. Or is it a different? I, I, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah different wheels different uh stuff done to the motor different interior a lot of things have changed so yeah i'm gonna tell you guys how much i spent on everything some stuff for free some stuff was pretty much like a trade but uh yeah man here we go so we're gonna start with the engine bay first because it's the easiest thing to do first things first let's start off with the simple things like the ebay cash can i have a video on this in case you guys want to go watch that i'll put the link up right here too and uh, I bought this, I think I bought this for $25 to be honest. And I had it for probably over, huh, probably almost 10,000 miles I had it on my car. And it does perfect. I change it every couple thousand miles. And uh, yeah, it's just full of like stuff that goes back into your manifold that you don't want to go back inside. But definitely a worth it mod. So next on the mod list, let's talk about the valve cover. I spent at least like $25 to do that. Uh, I already had all the you know painting supplies at my house, so didn't really have to go out to go buy anything. But yeah, I, I'm thinking I spent at least $25. But yeah, that's a yellow valve cover. I wish I could get it powder coated because it'll look so much nicer. But right now, it's good for what it is. Next on the list is this bad boy right here, the RBC. I paid $180 for this RBC used. Um, pretty good dang steel deal for real. Ooh, I'm spitting bars. Yo, I'm spitting bars. Tell DJ Khaled to stab me, bro. But yeah, I spent 180 on that. Used. Uh, I did the wrinkle paint. I have a video on that too if you guys want to go watch that. Really simple process to do. I just kind of messed up because I touched it because it started to rain outside. But it still looks good in person, so I'm not even going to complain about that. Next on the list is my K2. I love this intake. My K2 three and a half inch intake. I paid 230 for this with the battery location kit. Um, for for the Florida, you know, it rains a lot here and gets a lot of puddles and a lot of lakes, stuff like that. And you drive through them, it's not worth it to have a cold air. I know three people as of right now who lost their motor because they had a cold air intake and they decided to drive it through like a bad weather day or just just a day that it rained a lot and it was like deep puddles everywhere and they drove through some puddles and next thing you know kaboom there goes your car there goes your motor so yeah that's the reason why i have this one if i lived in somewhere that didn't rain a lot probably like arizona or something i wouldn't mind having a cold air intake but florida is not worth it bro next on the list is the prl adapter kit i paid i think 150 I'm guessing 150 or 160. I have it in my notes somewhere, so when I figure out the price, I'll put it. But I'm pretty sure it's 150. And that came with the plate and the throttle body spacer right here. And uh, together, that was 150 for the whole kit. Next on the list is my P2R injector adapter kits. These right there, since uh, stock injectors won't fit the RBC, so you have to get like adapter for it. That was $60. And uh, yeah. So all together for just the RBC, the intake and stuff like that, I didn't pay too much. I think I got a pretty damn good deal, to be honest with you. Next is my downpipe. My downpipe, you guys can't see, but it's a Skunk 2 downpipe. You guys know that Skunk 2 downpipes are really expensive. They could cost you like 380, 390, almost $400. I paid $120 used. Got it shipped here. It was a pain in the butt getting it shipped here because uh, FedEx lost it. But luckily, thanks to God, love you God, thanks to him, the package was able to be found and got delivered to my house and uh, now it's on Dusty making some power and making her shoot some flame. Next on the list is my uh, QD bushings. Those are $70. I got those a long time ago. I got those when I first got the car. Thanks to my girlfriend. Thank you, babe. But yeah, those been on the car for literally the whole time I had the car. So almost, almost, I say, probably like... 30,000 miles, 40,000 miles, so yeah, no issues with that either. Next on the list is my rear motor mount. Uh, I paid like 160, 170 for that. Um, that's a pretty good steal to be honest. I think I got it on like Black Friday or some some deal and I got it for a good price. But yeah, uh, I paid for that. You need one of those to run a downpipe. If you don't have that, you might risk cracking your downpipe. So it's always good to, you know, 
not cheap out and do something stupid and just get a downpipe and next thing you know your flex pipe breaks and now your car sounds like a damn lawnmower. And all those parts needed to be tuned so I got tuned by Durf. Um, cost me $300. It was pretty much my birthday gift from my girlfriend so thank you babe but yeah I got her tuned. It's been at least I guess you could say 15,000 miles since I've been tuned and uh, the car's been running healthy, had no problems, no issues. I've been banging gears on her all the time, slamming it, flooring it, racing her, and she hasn't gave me any issues. So yeah, she legit, bro. Next thing on the list is the RAV9 coilovers. I bought those pretty, I have a video on that like so long ago. I guess you could say like two years ago, but uh, paid 460, 450 for them, and they've been amazing ever since. I have no issues with them. They ride good, they're quiet, I don't hear no clunking. Usually when you get coilovers from eBay, everybody says like, oh, it's trash because it's gonna ride like crap, it's, the strut's gonna blow, or you're gonna hear clunking and all that stuff. Well, these I bought from eBay, and I have no problem with them. They're quiet, no clunking, no nothing, and they're cheap, that's the main point. All right, so that's it for the engine bay. Now let's talk about the outside of the car, the exterior. So as you guys can see right here, I have an air duct. This is a coupler that I had from my old intake that I just threw on. And now it has like a duct that runs up into, into the intake as you guys can see in like my last video. But yeah, altogether I paid like $20 to do that. Um, and it's really good. Like my, my IET has been down. If you guys remember, I've been having trouble with like having my car get really really hot from sitting in idling and while I'm driving because it's hot outside but with this it actually helps a lot uh, I don't really see anything over a hundred uh, degrees while I'm driving but if I'm sitting down idling and stuff like that of course it's gonna get hot in the engine bay but I haven't really seen, seen anything over 100 degrees ever since I had that installed. Next on the list is my front lip. I paid $70 for that front lip. Paint matched it myself for $50. Another thing is my Honda red fake eBay trash looking crap looking doodle face looking badge that I paid $20 for like a year ago and they turned out to be crap. So <sighs> I, gotta, I gotta spend another like $50 to find some good ones or $60 to find some good ones because this crap is terrible, boy. Next on the list is my wheels. If you guys remember, I had a different set of Alhans. I had the AH07s. These are the AH06s. And uh, these are 17 by 9s plus 35 offset. The tire is a Federal Federal 595 Tyro. Tire, I said Tyro, what the hell is that? Tire. And uh, it's a 235.40 on a 17 inch rim. So yeah, man, that's my setup. If you guys ever wanted to know. And it sits pretty nice. It's not too bad. Really, really nice. Hold on, let me see if I can get a better angle. Really, really nice. Probably one of my favorite subs because it looks so aggressive to me. It might not look aggressive to y'all, but to me, it looks aggressive. So I basically traded my wheels for these. Well, not traded, but I sold my other set of wheels and bought these, and these were cheaper than my other set. So uh, basically it was, I paid four something for all four, or five something for all four. And uh, the tires I basically bought uh, for 235 or something like that, 240. So, yeah. No, I think the tires I bought for like 260. But yeah, pretty cheap setup for some nice grippy wheels. I almost forgot to tell you guys about the tire letters. I paid $40 for the tire letters. Oh, wait, did I pay $40? Damn, I'm black again, boy. Sheesh, this camera don't like me, bro. Come on, make me light skin. Yes, sir. But yeah, I paid, I think, $40 for the tire letters and uh, had it on the car for a while now. I actually had it on the car since I basically bought the rims. So, probably like 15 miles ago. Yeah, probably like 15,000 miles ago. So, yeah. Next on the list is my side skirts. I bought these used for $70. I basically got them for a steal because brand new, they go for like 100 or something, like 120. And then you had to get a paint match. I didn't have to paint match them because it was already paint match. So, I, I, I pretty much got these for a really really good really 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 good deal but uh yeah i actually have a video on that if you guys want to watch it it's pretty old but there's always a g35 that just wants to be loud bro i'm tired y'all bro y'all make me mad ain't no reason for you be loud like i was saying if you guys want to go watch that video i'm gonna put the link right here it's pretty old so i don't know if you guys gonna like it my editing sucked back then but hey man still gonna put it up next on the list of these splitters that i made from ebay um they were originally carbon fiber but like the ugly fake carbon fiber and i just painted them black because it looks better 
But yeah, I paid $25 for those. And I have a video on that too, in case you guys want to watch it. I'll put it right here. But uh, yeah, $25, painted it. And I just uh, screwed it to the bottom of the bumper. And I like the way it looks. It's different. It's just real nice with the car. When I had my little side skirt extension, it looked so good. But you guys know what happened to that. I stepped on it and broke. <laughs> yeah. I definitely need to get another side skirt extension because that was such a fail. And I'm black as hell again. Next on the list is my carbon fiber roof spoiler that I spent 160 on. And uh, as you guys can see, it's time for me to get a new one or just to get this re-clear coated because like I think that's what's flooding on it. I think the clear coat's going bad. But yeah, I paid 160 for that. This right here is my Password JDM gurney flap, which I paid 200 for, and it's completely trash. But I tried to save it, and I kind of saved it. Not really, but it looks better than what it looked like before. And if you guys own one, you guys know what I'm talking about. It gets like really, really faded. Now, this is something I get asked about a lot is my tail lights. A lot of people think you could just buy them like this. No, these are vinyl wrapped. I bought this vinyl wrap for $25, and it's been on the car way 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 before i even started this youtube channel not even before i started a youtube channel it been on the car for like i guess like my third video that i posted but yeah bought this so long ago for 25 dollars and it's been on the car ever since and i had no issues with it looks so dang good love the way it looks now for my exhaust i have a pseudo exhaust that i paid 260 274 this is literally one of the best exhausts that i heard from the knife gen si it sounds so good sounds deep only con is that it's not a full three inch, it's a 2.75 inch exhaust, but it's still enough to, you know, make some gains on the dyno. Then right here I have LED reflector lights, they look so good at night. If you guys haven't seen videos on them, you guys go check it out. I actually have a video when I installed them, and a simple process literally takes like 30 minutes to do, and it's definitely worth it, because it definitely makes your car look different. That's probably one of my favorite mods that I've done to the rear of the car. It sets off the car, and a lot of people actually don't have them, so. If you guys want to do it do it next on the list is my window visors i paid i think 25 dollars for these like years ago and uh, they've been in the car ever since and it definitely make your car look different bro like i don't know about you guys but i love window visors on the si now let's talk about the interior of the car basically i only did like two things to the interior to be honest with you and uh actually three things so yeah let's talk about it so you guys know that i have my steering wheel wrap the price it cost me to do this was $50. I have a video on this too, if you guys want to go check it out. And it actually has the link to get this steering wheel. And uh, is it worth it? Hell yeah. Next is my hybrid racing shifter. I got this free from my sponsorship by hybrid racing. Uh, my shift knob was, I got it on Black Friday. So I think it was like $39. And uh, I used my code, so I think it was like $35. But yeah, good shifter. I mean, good shift knob, feels great in the hand. The shifter is amazing. Uh, if you can use my code, Zuby, you can get this whole shifter for $380, which is a pretty good steal and way better than a cutie. I'm not trying to bash a cutie. I just think that their prices are really, really high, but I guess the quality of cutie is still good, but I feel like hyper racing is just like killing the game right now. Next on the list is my uh, door trim piecing. I wrapped this in carbon fiber because I hate silver. And uh, I had this carbon fiber wrap for years now. It's a big old roll that I have that I used to wrap my, uh, I don't even know you call that, the bezel, the shifter bezel. But yeah, I I don't even know how much I paid for that. I think I paid for the, the whole roll. So I think the roll is like three yards or something like that. Three yards or like five yards, one of those. And I think I paid 30 bucks or 35 bucks for that or 40 bucks. is between $30 and $40. But yeah, got a whole five yard wrap of carbon fiber wrap and I just literally went crazy with it and wrap my trunk piecing wrap my door pullard and I wrap my little shifter bezel thingamajiggy because I hate I literally hate when I say I hate it I hate silver and I hate chrome and the last thing that's in the interior is my k-tuner I paid 460 450 for that or whatever it costs brand new um yeah I think that's really it is that it Yep, that's it. Well, that's all for the video. The total should be placed right here on how much I spent in total on Dusty. But yeah, man, that's where I'm end off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And your boy's out. Peace. Wait, also, wait, I was about to just end off the video without, you know, dropping some merch. But if you guys want to go check out my site, I have a site where I sell merch like uh, stickers, air fresheners, st stickers. I already said that, didn't I? Decals, I meant. 
But yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's zuviapparel.bigcartel.com. If you guys wanna go check it out, it really mean a lot to me because everything goes back to the channel, goes back to Dusty, and goes back to just, you know, making dope content. But yeah, man. Now your boys out. Peace.